started. In fact, the first drive was still on the ground the whole way. Uh, is that kind of like, okay, we're going to make a statement here. We're going to just run it back and forth. Uh, not exactly. I think that was just one of the things that we did just uh, coming in the game. I mean, just getting early start, tempo, and um, things like that. But it just so happens that they were giving us to it, so we were taking it. Far left, uh, JT. Doug? JT, when you're looking to the sideline and getting the play call, can you just talk about sort of how, how you feel in that moment? Are you getting a feel for this offense that you – can you almost sort of anticipate what the next call is going to be and what kind of confidence do you have in the way that you guys are executing those plays? A lot of things that uh, when we look back like that is uh, something we go through on the sideline before we go out there. So uh, I already have a somewhat of an idea what we're about to get into. But um, there's definitely some times out there where um, they'll do some defensively, and I don't even have to look back. Just with practice, uh, things we do in practice, that I get to a certain play and we'll be all right. So um, I already have an idea. Most but do, of the time. You, do you feel like with, how comfortable are you? Like, do you feel like you're in sync with what Coach Meyer and Coach Herman are trying to get this offense to do on the field each week? Yeah, that uh, goes into, like I said, practice uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. So definitely just getting better at that. JT, do you mind just, just scoot a little bit closer to the microphones? And over here to the right, Bo. JT, you seem so confident out there. I know you, I think you ran for 100. Ezekiel ran for 100. You guys had over 500 yards. Again, last couple of times you guys have played, it's almost seemed like a video game offense in terms of, all right, now we're going to this. Just can you talk about your confidence level a month in, the growth you've had from you know Virginia Tech to where you are now and where this offense is? Do you feel like you guys can do about anything you want? Um, I feel like with – the things that defense is presented to us, we just take advantage of that. So not exactly anything that we want. Um, we just try to get prepared for anything and everything. And so we just have to do a good job of executing things like that. But as far as uh, myself and confidence, um, just trying to get better during the week um, and not wait till game day to just react to everything. So just trying to get better, know the defense that I'm facing uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. So when it comes to Saturday, then I can have that confidence and go out there and play. It's like 1,200 yards the last two weeks combined, though. That's <laughs> Yeah, there. it just so happens that it just went out that way, but we always get better. So, Front row, Tim. Yeah, JT, talk about your night last night and this morning and compare it to the night and the morning before the Navy game from a nervous standpoint, a confidence standpoint. What, what were you like before the Navy game? Ur Urban Meyer didn't think you slept much, whatever, but you know, uh, you're a coach. You might be wrong. I'm not sure. Nah, he was definitely right. It was one of those deals uh, popping up in the middle of the night. Uh, I think it popped up at like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, then like 5.30. So it was one of those deals of uh, just nervousness and uh, having that butterflies in your stomach. And compared to last night, um, you can sleep easy. And this thing I do now, I take the sleepy time tea so I can go to sleep. So, <laughs> so, so I don't uh, be up just sitting there with my thoughts at night. But uh, definitely it's better, way better than what it is. Hey, you love the quick was it tough throwing into that wind today? It looked like your some of your passes into the wind. Um, you know, I mean, or, or was it as, as tough as it looked? Maybe something. No, um, the one that I think you want to talk about. There was a, a corner field corner yeah. on that one, and uh, I just didn't put enough on it. I was babying it though. I could definitely do uh, put some more on that, but uh, the wind. I don't think it was too much of a factor. You're from Wichita Falls. Right? Yeah, there ain't no trees. It went all the time. <laughs> Front row, Todd. JT, when you look at some of the weapons you got. Dontre and Jalen and Devin and Evan and Michael Thomas and Zeke, hire me. You just feel like a kid with too many toys at times. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't. I don't feel like that. I'm gonna ask you a question. I don't feel like I have too many toys. Uh, I'm gonna play with all of them too. So, uh, <laughs> nah, it doesn't feel like that. But definitely good. Uh, people just get it out of my hands. And let them do what they do. So uh, that's how I feel about that. Folks, I'm going to go one more question just because players are starting to, to roll out over there. Uh, back row, uh, Obi. Uh, JT, uh, well, pre-rolling still well. Hey, uh, your first quarterback that Coach I, uh, Urban has uh, had that he actually included, do you think that plays uh, with your confidence and you and his relationship? How does, how does that play out? Does that make a difference for you? Um. I'm not sure if that really makes much of a difference. I think the earn the confidence and trust with Coach Meyer is uh, how you practice and how you prepare for things. Um, I mean, he definitely doesn't believe in like game time players. That's not a thing with Coach Meyer. So I think it has to go into spring and fall camp and just practice and how you prepare and lead your guys and things like that. So um, I don't think 
him recruiting me and being the first quarterback when he was here, I don't think that has a lot to do. I think you definitely have to earn his, uh, earn his trust um, through the way you practice and the way you interact with other people.